Well, it's always a little bit daunting at first. I've had experience of, you know, working on new plays and, and it's always quite daunting to have the writer in the room at, f at first. But then you realise that they're, um, they're human uh, and they're, they're usually very, very similar. You know, creative people are similar. To, we're, we're all sort of similar and we all are barely thin-skinned in some regards. And I think as soon as you get past that, the original sort of intimidation of having the author there. It's, uh, it's, it's a very thrilling thing to have them present because actually it's, um, it's quite empowering, weirdly. It's a good feeling of sort of liberation, of complete sort of, uh, you know, carte blanche in a way. You've got the writer there as well. You've got the director, you've got the writer. You, you, that, that's, it's like the, the sky's the limit. You can pretty much do, get away with quite a lot. We, we all had to uh, come up with our own character's entirely kind of subjective journey and therefore sense of reality. Um, so what's interesting is that obviously I think, you know, we all have probably entirely different versions of the story and how it evolves and, and what actually happens in the end um, from each other. And I think that that's probably quite important because I think that in a sense the, the play is, is, is more of a rhetorical play than a than a play that provides any kind of answers. I think it's something that interrogates and that, um, that seeks to challenge an audience and, and seeks to question uh, notions of reality in terms of what constitutes reality and what constitutes madness, but also, um, you know, much more kind of broader questions, I suppose. Um, and so in that sense, I think it, what's, it, what's interesting about it is that it's a little bit like a, a jigsaw puzzle or, or almost, you know, like a sort of Michael Haneke film that you kind of construct the narrative and that there are all of these multiple narr narratives actually there within the play that inevitably um, are alternatives to, to a kind of coherent whole. I think we all got to a different, uh, we all arrived at different, slightly different versions of events. I think necessarily. I think my version of events has to be different from uh, Jody's versions of events, and, and, and also likewise from uh, Paul's, for instance. So, uh, you know, there are certain, there's common ground, and then there are certain things that we all had to agree to disagree on. And I think that's just the nature of the play. I think, you know, and I think Mark is actually quite, he welcomed that sort of, that there were question marks and that there were no straight answers, that it's, it's open to debate. Obviously, you can't sit on the fence. You have to make decisions as a, to play these things as an actor. You have to decide one thing or another. I, I think it's rather wonderful um, to have the play right there. I've, I've often thought that when I've been doing a Shakespeare, but not a hope. So, um, but Mark is utterly charming and didn't give very much away. He seemed like um, a young child because he was so delighted, I think, that the play was going on. I hope that's the okay thing to say. He always was sort of wreathed in smiles and or tears, actually. He was very affected by seeing his words, I think. Um, and so that was rather thrilling, although he was there at the beginning and the end, not in the middle. Yeah, no, it was very tough having the author in the room, actually, because I think you feel a sense that you really want to kind of get it right, you know, more so than normal. I think you always kind of want to get it right for yourself and for the director and for your peers and whatever. But I think that, um, you know, when you've got the writer in there kind of scrutinising how you play every word, you know, there's an extra kind of pressure. But Mark was great from the, from the first minute and there was never any kind of sense of us and them. It was very much kind of a collaborative process. And if something wasn't working, we'd try and work it out and, uh, and we'd get there eventually. And um, it was a really kind of organic process of, of taking the scenes which are in the play um, they form a kind of a non-linear narrative and rearranging them and kind of putting them into a, a kind of a linear structure to see you know what, how this kind of play unfolds 